we are continuing with our special Tuesday series with Becker County Energize. And once again, I want to welcome Ryan Pesch and Marilyn Hofflin, and they work with our local food in the area. Uh, Ryan works with Mana Food Co-op, and Marilyn works the, with the Lakes Area Farmers Market. And they're going to talk about, uh, you know, Becker County Energize, their work with Becker County Energize, and why it's important to them uh, to work with Becker County Energize and the, uh, the great work they're doing in our community to make us a healthier community. So I want to welcome Ryan and Marilyn once again this morning to HodgePodge. Good morning. Hey, we're back. You're back. Or maybe right. we weren't here to begin with. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you were, but uh, oh, yeah, okay. something, something kicked in for some reason and it was just not good. So anyway, uh, let's talk a little bit about, okay, so let's talk about uh, your work with with MANA, Ryan first, and uh, Becker County Energize, and then Marilyn will get your input as well uh, and how you started to work with Becker County Energize and the importance uh, of the work that you're doing. Go ahead, Ryan. Yeah, you know, I, I, I think the thing about Becker County Energize is about tr a whole bunch of different groups that are involved in some facet of healthier eating or healthier living or wellness in general. And so, and the whole idea behind Becker County Energize is kind of raise all boats or raise everybody's consciousness about, you know, how as a community do we just live, live a healthier lifestyle. And so for us at Mana Food Co-op, we're dedicated to, you know, local natural and organic foods and connecting local producers, producing healthy foods together with local consumers. I mean, that's, we, we, we fit the bill where we fit right in there. Um, you couple with that, some of the work that we do around, uh, wellness and healthier eating education, and it, it seems to be a, a great partnership with us, Becker County Energize, and the other people involved in it. So, Right, and uh, Marilyn, in your experience uh, with the Lakes Area Farmers Market is very similar uh, to Ryan's, uh, and uh, you know, just another venue uh, to bring food to the community, and uh, what's been your experience? Well, thank you for having me. Um, I am a SNAP ad educator with the University of Minnesota. Um, SNAP is what many of us grew up calling food stamps. Um, so it's an important message to me to um, not only work with Becker County Energize with like-minded people that want to improve those healthy lifestyles, but also the uh, likelihood that people would be able to access them people who might have limited resources, um, people of color, LGBT community, people with mental health challenges or transportation uh, issues. So I'm seeing a real awareness of both resources and opportunities in the Becker County area. Um, and my personal mission is um, a couple of things. I've been working with the food shelf as they have uh, you know, a hardworking bunch of people uh, working to try to figure out how to uh, safely distribute food during COVID, and they're doing a fantastic job. I'm seeing possibly a year or two down the road, um, they're going to be in need of additional volunteers and even a new home. Um, they will most likely see a move uh, needed in the next couple of years. And um, the uh, Lakes Area Farmers Market. So a few years ago, they reestablished um, the acceptance of SNAP. Uh, folks can use their EBT card uh, to double their money basically. And many people do not understand that. It's so important that we're not only, um, uh, you know, supporting those local foods, our local growers, but also the likelihood that our um, most uh, needy people in the community can use their EBT card to get market bucks. And what that is, is um, a family would, um, a SNAP family would use their EBT card up to $10 and they can double that. So that 10 becomes 20. They're able to use that for um, baked goods, local produce, if they have a garden, there's many um, bedding plants at this time of year, uh, some canned goods and just the most freshest, wholesome foods that, you know, during this time of COVID, we're all thinking about boosting our immunity and as well as stretching our food dollars. So um, supporting our local farmers market, they're open Tuesday and Saturdays from 10 until one. And we are also trying to establish somewhat of a volunteer base and maybe getting a schedule 
Um, it's kind of a labor of love to be able to offer EBT at the farmer's market and the support of the community in the way of volunteering at the EBT booth would be one of the most important ways that we could support that effort. All right, great. I'm on the line this morning with Marilyn Hofflin and Ryan Pesch. Uh, they work with uh, our local food uh, in the area and connecting people, uh, no matter you know whether you are with the SNAP program, uh, whether you're making millions of dollars, you're connecting to local foods, and it's available to everybody. And you know, um, you know, just covering the farmers market and the opening of manna through the years, it's, it's kind of like the realization of people getting connected to real food and, you know, uh, the, how that makes you feel much better than, you know, going down and getting a bag of chips <laughs> because it's cheap and it's yeah. quick. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that's right. You know, my, my mantra constantly uh, for people in terms of like, Hey Ryan, you're this organic vegetable grower and stuff like, I want to eat healthier, da, 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 da. My, my two words are always whole foods, whole foods. It's like my mantra I'm always saying. And, and I think a lot of people, especially through the pandemic, have their eyes have been open to whole foods, right? To some degree, we had a little more time on our hands, and maybe we rediscovered how to bake bread using actual just flour, yeast, and water. We rediscovered a little bit around cooking. Um, and, you know, in this fast paced world, sometimes when we're very stressed, it's about cheap, quick, processed foods. And lo and behold, we don't feel very good. And lo and behold, if you do that long enough, you get a chronic condition, right? So um, I, I think whole foods, to me, you know, it's kind of my work for 20 years. It's like, I think this is a solution to a lot of our health issues. I do think also, it relates to this point that Marilyn brought up, and very rightfully so, is, you know what, if you're poor in this country, that shouldn't stop you from eating well, right? And so when we talk about, you know, as a grower, you know, fresh tomatoes in season are relatively inexpensive. And it's really just how do we grease the skids a little bit so that these fresh quality products get to Everybody. I mean, that's, that's the name of the game here. And if I'd highlighted just a couple things that we've been doing, and some of it was spurred by Becker County Energizes, ever since uh, we started as a co-op, we've had what's called the Local Jewel Program, which is like a donation uh, where people would donate a membership to uh, low-income folks so that they can take advantage of the benefits of being a member of the co-op, which also includes buying um, – product in bulk at a discount, right? That's a large part of the co-op. If all members get a discount for a case price, right? So I'm always arguing with people like, you're driving 60 miles round trip to Fargo to get some bulk price at Costco. Why don't you just become a member and we'll get you a whole freaking case of tomatoes. It, it, it'll be good. Or we'll get you a case of whatever. Uh, the second thing is just recently we had a nice partnership uh, with the Boys and Girls Club who uh, traditionally done a lot of gardening with our, our 4-H colleagues um, throughout the summer. And, and this year, uh, Lee spearheaded an, an initiative in terms of what they're calling Gardens to Go. And so right now we've had 75 families who, uh, who have kids engaged with the Boys and Girls Club. They're engaged in the Gardens to Go program. And, and uh, I arranged to raise some plants for them, some cherry tomatoes and some, uh, and some basil plants. And I know Becker Pet and Garden, I think uh, local Lumberyard, we all kind of engage so that kids and their families can begin growing in a container situation as opposed to growing on site. So it seems like a nice partnership. Again, an example of a partnership of organizations interested in healthier eating, growing and the like in our community, working together to, uh, you know, kind of for the good of the community. Right. Yeah. So that's, and that's what this is all about. Our special series is to, to talk about the Becker County Energize and the partners and the good work being done uh, to make our 
community healthier, uh, regardless of what your socioeconomic status is in our community. Um, and, you know, like Ryan, you were talking about, it's just, it's just kind of the natural progression too. You know, you start eating good food and then you kind of all of a sudden wonder where it's coming from. And all of a sudden maybe you realize, well, it'd be even cheaper if I grew my own tomatoes in my backyard yeah. or, you know, just uh, get put that idea. It just kind of grows from there as well. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it's really interesting. We're having kind of a, a, a local food moment, I think, nationally. As a, as a CSA operator, and I've been at it now 15 years, I have more than 20 people on, 20 families on a wait list. I, I haven't had that at the beginning of June before. Second thing is I haven't, I've fielded dozens of calls from people that are just interested in growing. They're interested in buying bedding plants from me. Um, just general gardening questions. I mean, in response, I'm also involved in our um, Sustainable Food Association chapter, the local, the Lake Agassi chapter. We've hosted uh, Facebook Live meetings was, where us as individual growers and producers have shared some of that knowledge because there is so much interest. You know, I did a little Facebook Live on starting plants from seed, right? Something people suffer with. But, you know, all of the above are good, um, whether – you know, connecting with the local grower and buying directly from a grower, going to a farmer's market, going to the co-op, growing your own. You know, I think at the end of the day, it's whole foods. If people begin, they get on the whole foods train and begin in that process of using produce in season, using whole foods, feeling better. Um, it's like, I don't know, I, I, I feel like you, you get on, it, it's kind of a, a lifestyle change. And I think once people embrace it, it it, it sticks and it's kind of a rich vein of, of interesting things from gardening to cooking to everything else. So. so both of you would say, you know, the call to action of the community is try it, <laughs> give it a try, you know, for what, like a week or a month or, you know, how long would you, would you recommend people trying uh, this? Uh, whole I'm, I'm going to interject that um, I think when we're trying local foods, I think it's important to go, every couple of weeks throughout the season because you're gonna see completely different types of produce, um, different types of um, canned goods, um, whether it's manna or the farmer's market. Um, if you've ever had a garden or even seen a garden, you know that there's different types of produce coming into season throughout um, from early summer into a frost. So we're going to start with, you know, greens and maybe asparagus uh, and end with um, squash with things like green beans and tomatoes in the middle. Um, but baked goods are offered throughout the season um, at the farmer's market. And um, I, we'd all love to see people come uh, throughout the season. They are open. Farmer's market is open. I should mention that the acceptance of EBT will probably start in a couple of weeks. They like to wait until there's more to offer to uh, get the EBT booth going, probably about two weeks from now. Okay. Yeah, and I totally agree with Marilyn. I say, give it a season, right? This notion about eating seasonally, like just say, I'm going to commit myself for this season just to see the ebbs and flows of the season in terms of produce and other things I can get. Uh, there's an initiative that's statewide that is just launching right now uh, with the Minnesota Farmers Union, uh, together with uh, Minnesota Food Co-ops, a whole bunch of other organizations uh, with a tagline. It, it, it's this campaign called Local Food is Essential. And uh, we've seen that response here, and we've seen a lot of interest in kind of the general community. And, and that's what this campaign is all about. How can we feature our local producers and those places where you can source those local foods uh, from throughout the state and asking uh, residents, consumers to commit to a season. You know, what does it look like to eat locally this season? We are now coming into, it feels like it's the middle of August, but it's still just the very beginning of June. And just to commit yourself to, you know, explore local foods throughout this season, this growing season, and, and see where it takes you. All right. Very good. And Marilyn, did you have anything else to add? I would like to add one more thing. You know, when we keep saying the word local, and not only is this food delicious and fresh, but we're also better supporting our local economy. Um, there's such a tie-in with, um, you know, whether it's the, the vendors at the market or 
um, you know, the people shopping there and keeping our dollars local. Um, I think it's really important to um, have that community feeling and be able to talk to the people who are growing your food, um, getting information about, you know, how would you prepare this or um, have you uh, done some organic methods in growing and, and just really connecting to the people that are providing your food. All right, and we're going to have to wrap it up there, but I want to thank uh, Marilyn Hoffman and also Ryan Pesch uh, for visiting with us today about uh, local foods and whole foods. And, uh, yeah, take the challenge and uh, get out there and experience uh, all our, our bounty out there uh, this season as things are, are going to start uh, showing up uh, more and more now uh, with the gardening season and this hot, hot weather coming in. So, Ryan and Marilyn, thanks so much.